Beyond the Breeze Chapter 1, The Riverside Gathering In a cute village surrounded by hills and babbling streams, a cheerful get-together happened by the river. The group, made up of four friends, included a smart old turtle named Tiberius, a curious rabbit named Harriet, a happy sheep named Sherwin, and a friendly duck named Daphne. People were talking and laughing, and the atmosphere was friendly, like a happy song playing. The sun made everything warm and golden, creating a feeling of togetherness. Tiberius, who was really wise because he'd lived a long time, noticed that Harriet was looking across the river with a thoughtful expression. He walked over slowly, his old shell making a soft sound with each step. What's catching your eye, Harriet? Tiberius asked, his wise eyes twinkling. Harriet, a lively rabbit who loved to explore, sighed and said, I've heard stories about a land on the other side of the river, where the grass is green, and the sun always shines. I can't help wondering if life there is more interesting. Sherwin, the happy sheep who was easygoing, heard the conversation and laughed gently. Harriet, my dear friend, sometimes things look better from a distance. What seems exciting far away might not be as good up close. Even though Sherwin warned her, Harriet's curiosity grew and she started thinking about going on an adventure in the days to come. The idea of exploring the unknown on the other side of the river made her excited, and she couldn't stop thinking about a colorful land where every day brought new things to discover. As the sun went down, making long shadows by the river, the friends kept talking. But Harriet's mind was already filled with dreams about what was on the other side of the water. Little did she know that this moment, full of friendship and the idea of faraway lands, would be the start of a journey that would teach her important lessons about what excitement and fulfillment really mean. Chapter 2, The Whispering Breeze One tranquil evening, Bathed in the warm hues of a setting sun, a gentle breeze carried with it the enticing whispers of captivating tales to Harriet's eager ears. Intrigued by the mysterious stories, she couldn't resist the urge to confide in her dear friend Sherwin. Sherwin, have you ever found yourself wondering about the life that unfolds on the opposite side of the river? Harriet inquired her eyes alive with anticipation. Sherwin, a creature who cherished the simplicity and joy of his days in the village, offered sagely advice, Harriet, contentment is akin to being wrapped in a snug, comforting blanket. What we have right here in our village is truly precious. It's essential to exercise caution before venturing into the unknown. Yet, the enchanting allure of the unexplored land lingered persistently in Harriet's thoughts. That very night, as the moon cast its gentle glow, she drifted into slumber, her dreams filled with vivid images of exciting adventures awaiting her just beyond the tranquil riverbank. Chapter 3, The Midnight Crossing Unable to resist the call of the unknown any longer, Harriet decided to embark on a journey across the river. The moonlit night concealed her as she quietly slipped away from the village, making her way to the water's edge. As she hesitated on the riverbank, a soothing voice echoed in the night. It was Tiberius, who had followed her, his wise eyes filled with concern. Harriet, my dear, the river may seem narrow, but its currents are strong. Before you cross, ponder on what you seek, Tiberius cautioned. Harriet, determined to unravel the mysteries on the other side, 
thanked Tiberius for his wisdom, but proceeded to swim across the river. Chapter 4, The Enchanted Meadow Harriet emerged on the opposite bank to find herself in a meadow unlike any she had ever seen. The grass sparkled with morning dew, and colorful flowers danced in the breeze. She reveled in the beauty of her newfound surroundings, convinced that she had discovered a paradise. As she explored, she encountered a wise old owl named Oliver, perched on a branch. Intrigued by Harriet's arrival, Oliver greeted her with a hoot. Welcome, young one. What brings you to this enchanted meadow? Oliver asked, his eyes sparkling with ancient knowledge. Harriet, captivated by the charm of the place, shared tales of her village and the desire to escape the routine. Oliver listened patiently, then offered a word of caution. The meadow may seem perfect, but every paradise has its challenges. Be mindful of what you seek, for appearances can be deceiving. Chapter 5, The Allure of Illusions In the days that followed, Harriet indulged in the pleasures of the enchanted meadow. She frolicked through fields of flowers, basked in the warm sunlight, and marveled at the beauty that surrounded her. However, an unsettling feeling tugged at the edges of her consciousness. One day, she encountered a mischievous fox named Felix, who slyly approached her. Harriet, my friend, the meadow is a wondrous place, but there's an even grander land just beyond those hills. The grass is even greener, and the skies are clearer. Would you like to see it? Intrigued by the promise of an even better paradise, Harriet decided to follow Felix, unaware that she was stepping into a web of illusions. Chapter 6, The Mirage of Perfection As Harriet and Felix continued their journey past the hills, the scenery turned into something truly amazing. The rivers looked like they were made of silver, flowing smoothly, and the trees had leaves that were as shiny as gold. Harriet, completely captivated by this beauty, couldn't help but feel really happy. I found it. This is the perfect place I've been looking for, she shouted in excitement. Felix, slyly grinning, quietly slipped away into the shadows, leaving Harriet by herself in this dreamy scene. But, as time passed, the dream started to fade away. The silver rivers and golden trees lost their sparkle, and Harriet slowly began to see that the wonderful paradise she thought she'd found wasn't real. Standing there alone, Harriet felt a bit sad. The incredible beauty she saw turned out to be just a short-lived fantasy. The journey beyond the hills didn't take her to the forever happy land she imagined. Instead, it taught her that sometimes things might seem amazing at first, but they can end up being only a temporary dream. She took a deep breath, accepting the truth, and was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Chapter 7, The Return Home Disillusioned and disheartened, Harriet retraced her steps, her spirit heavy with the weight of unmet expectations. She made her way back to the familiar meadow where Oliver, the wise owl, awaited her return. The golden hues of the setting sun painted the surroundings with a gentle warmth, casting a serene glow upon the landscape. Oliver, perched on a sturdy branch, greeted Harriet with a knowing gaze that seemed to penetrate her troubled thoughts. Harriet, he hooted softly, sometimes the allure of distant lands masks the beauty of what we have right in front of us. Did you find what you were seeking? Harriet, 
humbled by the twists and turns of her journey, gazed into Oliver's wise eyes. I thought I sought something better, something grander, she admitted, but in truth, the meadow and my village each have their own unique charm. The wise owl nodded sagely, feathers ruffling in the evening breeze. Often, it takes a journey to realize the value of home, Oliver remarked. Now, with newfound wisdom, how do you feel about the meadow that cradles your village? Harriet pondered Oliver's words, the realization settling within her like the soft rustle of leaves. The meadow, she began thoughtfully, is not just a patch of grass and flowers. It's a tapestry of memories, laughter, and shared stories. And my village, though small, is a community that lends strength and support. With a heart lightened by understanding, Harriet decided to swim back across the gently flowing river that had once felt like a barrier. As she navigated the waters, she felt a sense of gratitude blossoming within her for the lessons learned on her quest for the elusive paradise. The river, once a daunting obstacle, now seemed like a bridge connecting her to the familiar comforts of home. In the quiet stillness of the meadow, the wise owl watched as Harriet returned, her steps filled with a newfound appreciation for the simplicity and beauty that surrounded her. And as the night descended, the meadow whispered tales of acceptance and contentment, weaving a soothing melody that echoed through the heart of the village and beyond. Chapter 8 The Lesson Learned Back in the village, Harriet reunited with Sherwin, and she sought out Tiberius to share her tale. Tiberius listened, his eyes twinkling with understanding. Harriet, the grass may seem greener on the other side, but true contentment is found in appreciating the beauty around us. Each place, each moment, has its own unique charm, Tiberius imparted. Sherwin added, our village may not be perfect, but it is home. The grass here is green enough for me. And so, the animals of the village, having witnessed Harriet's journey, learned that the pursuit of perfection can lead to disappointment. The grass only looks greener on the other side of the river because of the distance and the shimmering illusions. True happiness lies in appreciating the beauty within reach and finding contentment in the present moment. As the sun set on the quaint village, the animals gathered by the riverside, their bonds strengthened by the shared experiences and the wisdom gained from Harriet's adventure. The babbling brooks carried the echoes of their laughter, a testament to the enduring beauty of their home. And so, life in the village continued, filled with the simple joys of friendship, shared stories, and the everlasting warmth of the riverside gathering.